Hello, fellow pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts. It's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit. And today I am doing a currently inked for everybody out there. Uh, we are very, very quickly approaching the end of March, and I just wanted to go over some of the inks that I have been using this month. Uh, I found a couple new gems. I found a couple that are kind of oddly problematic uh, and a couple that I'm pretty sure are going to become regular rotation inks for me. Uh, so I'm definitely excited to share those with everybody out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get things started. This is my uh, Sailor Procure Slim Mini in the, um, what is this color? Iron Gray. <laughs> This is Iyer Gray. Sorry about that. Uh, I just blanked for just a moment there. Uh, I have been using this in my work planner uh, for the last month and I'm really, really loving it. This one is inked with the Sailor Dolu uh, cartridge uh, from their Shikiori line. Uh, I'm, it's a really, really dark, dark brown that looks pretty much black, but in certain lights you can si kind of see that it's a little bit uh, lighter than that, but I really do like it. Yep, that looks pretty close to black. And this is a medium fine nib, but yeah, it, it is definitely a very, very dark, dark, dark brown. And uh, if you want something that will show up pretty much as black for like work, or if you have like a really strict workplace that really definitely does not like a lot of lighter colors, this could definitely be something for you just because I know for me, I like feeling weirdly subversive when I use an ink that's not technically black that definitely would be considered black by anyone else. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but I, I do really enjoy that. Uh, so I, I love this. And you can see, uh, even with the medium fine, of course, it's a, a Japanese nib, so medium fine's pretty fine still. But there's, there is definitely a little bit more going on uh, in this ink. And it, it's just very, very smooth. I love I love using this one. Of course, you've got the feedback that you're used to in a sailor, but the ink itself is just lovely. I do love the Shikiori line, even in the cartridges. I've not always had great luck with other brands of ink when they're in cartridges. Diamine comes to mind, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that more in a moment, but this one, absolutely great. I strongly recommend. Okay, my other... Uh, everyday carry. This is my Caveco Brass Sport. And this is my first month using this new ink. Uh, it's actually not a new ink to me. It's just new to me in this particular pen. Uh, I had just mentioned that I have not had great luck with diamine cartridges. Uh, I was always using Silver Fox in this and it was just very, very difficult to work in this extra fine nib. Um, I had hard starts pretty much all the time. Uh, I have done absolutely nothing to the nib. It's still exactly the same. I haven't like uh, adjusted it or had it adjusted or anything, but I switched to Pilot Hiroshizuku Huyu Syogun and it works like a dream. Um, I've always thought diamine inks were quite wet, but I think for whatever reason, I'm having poor luck with uh, the diamine cartridges. Whereas um, this Puyu Syogun, I know, is a very wet ink. All of the Uroshizuku uh, line seems to be, at least in my experience, uh, with the ones that I've had. And so it it's just, it, it really does work a treat. It's this gorgeous sort of bluish gray, and it, it's just perfect for what I'm looking for. I love this color and, you know, I just, I'm so happy that I switched to it because I was getting ready to swap out the nib and I don't need to. It really does. It really just happens to be the ink that you're using. So if you should ever find 
uh, yourself in a similar situation where you're using a extra fine or fine nib and the ink is just not flowing in a way that you like and you know that the pen generally doesn't have problems, just swap out the ink. Try something a little bit wetter that you know you've used. Maybe you've used it in the past and have just been like, oh, this ink is definitely something that flows very well. Uh, and that might take care of all of your problems because that's exactly what has happened to me here. Okay, next Everyday Carry Pen. This is my Pilot Elite 95S uh, in the burgundy with the champagne uh, cover cap. And this one, I usually use uh, Vinta's Armada, which I think is a gorgeous color, but I just got a new shipment in of different colors. And this is the uh, L'Artisan Pastelier Ancle Classique in Glee de Pan. Uh, again, apologies for my absolutely horrendous French. I don't speak French at all. Uh, I just just have a terrible pronunciation with, with it. And I, I apologize in advance, but it's the Glee de Pain and it, it just landed. And I think it's really pretty as well. It's just a little bit lighter than the Hiroshizuku Fuyushiogun. And I'm really liking it in my Hobonichi weeks. Um, it is a little bit drier and considering the uh, E95S tends to be a little bit broader of a uh, extra fine than I'm used to with most of my Japanese nibs. Uh, having that dryer ink really helps to kind of control the ink flow. And I'm really, really enjoying it in the plant, my weekly everyday planner. It's, it's, it's been really a joy to use. Okay, so that is a lot of gray. Let's try a color that's not gray this time. Um, okay. First one. This is my new uh, Esterbrook SD in um, the Cola exclusive color. And I chose to get this guy in their uh, 1.1 stub. I'm getting used to it. I did order their journaler nib because I, I, I'm just not loving this. <laughs> I'm, I think, I think for whatever reason, it feels a little bit more broad than, or more comfortable, I should say, than say the Twisby stubs. And I absolutely love Twisby stub, uh, nibs, but this one it's, it's taking quite a lot for me. So we'll, we'll see when the journaler comes. I'm definitely excited about that. Uh, I know it's supposed to be essentially like a medium stub uh, taken after one of their uh, vintage pen nibs. So I'm thinking I might really, really like that one. In the meantime, I am still using this one, trying to get comfortable with it. And it does lay down a very nice uh, line of ink, except for right now where it has clearly, there we go. And the ink I have in this is Vinta's Fortaleza. Uh, Honestly, that was the first time I've had a hard start on it. The very first time I've it's not done that before, but it has been probably five or six days since I last used it. So that's probably why. It does lay down a really, really nice line of ink. And um, this Fortaleza is absolutely gorgeous. I do think it matches this pen pretty much perfectly. Okay, next, uh, this is a vintage Parker 51 Demi in Cocoa. And I have this whole video explaining why this pen is uh, one of my favorites right now. And I just, I really, really love writing with this. And this one is inked up with Ferris Wheel Press's Oyster Hour, which is just gorgeous, gorgeous color. Okay. 
And this is in a fine nib, by the by. Okay, next up is my beloved Kakuno um, from Pilot. I love this pen. I have had it for so long. It is in the medium size and it just it's just a fantastic pen. Um, I always, uh, let's hope I didn't break it. There we didn't. No, it didn't. Um, I always can trust that it's going to work. Um, I have not used this in probably a week and a half and I'm pretty sure it's still going to lay down a nice line of ink if anything, if history uh, has any truth to it. Okay, it's hard start. It is honestly starting a little harder than usual, um, but I will say it does have a uh, shimmer ink in it, and shimmer inks are definitely going to clog pens sometimes. It just so happens that this is probably one of them. Okay, back, and let's see if I can't get this to work a little bit better this time. Okay, so this was my Wearing Gold Alice, which is generally a really lovely blue with gold shimmer in it. Um, looks like two weeks is just definitely a little bit too long uh, with this particular um, ink and pen. Uh, of course, it would be the one time that I'm like, this one always works. Uh, but I mean, that's sort of the name of the game. Sometimes these things happen. Uh, I will say that Wearing Gold Alice is a really, really beautiful blue. If you're looking for something springtimey and you want a little bit of shimmer, it is really quite lovely. Um, I think I just need to um, play around and, you know, wet the nib down a little bit and it'll be perfectly fine, just like normal. Uh, and please don't let this dissuade you from trying the Kakuno. Pilot's pens in general are absolutely wonderful, and I do love this pen. I've had it for a really long time, and it, for the most part, always works. But, of course, anytime you're using shimmer inks, it's going to be, you know, a bit of a crapshoot. So that is this one. Okay, next up is my Caveco Collection Sport in the Iridescent. This is such a beautiful, beautiful pen. I just, I never get tired of using it. And this is in a medium nib. And I have, uh, again, a Ferris wheel press with the Queen Allium in here. Oh, this purple. I love purple inks. I really, really do. Uh, and I just think this is gorgeous. It's got a gold shimmer to it. I just, I love this pink, or love this purple. There we go. Okay, and just a couple more pens. Okay, this one has been a bit of a problem ink for me. Um, this is a Twisby Diamond Mini in the Rose Gold. It's a great, great pen. I absolutely love the Diamond Minis. I think they're the perfect size for me. Um, they've got a great ink capacity. This ink is one of the ones that you really have to use pretty much every day. Um, I've found that two days is it definitely starts to clog three days is a no-go. <laughs> and this ink is uh, very, uh, Wearing Ghoul's Twelfth Night. Um, interesting that I'm having problems with Wearing Ghoul's Alice, but I did, again, leave this in the Kakuno for like two weeks. So it's probably bound to happen. But this one, just a couple of days. Uh, Twelfth Night is really, really beautiful. So if you are someone who's going to use the this particular pen every day, um, you probably won't have a, ha a problem. I do have this in the 1.1 stub, which I adore as far as Twisby nibs go. I do think it's a fantastic, fantastic stub, super user friendly. Um, if you're looking to getting into those broader uh, nibs, this is a great 
uh, branch to start with, I think. And I don't know if you saw, but um, it was definitely not quite hard starting, but it was a little bit sluggish and I used it earlier today. So just keep that in mind. Okay, twelfth night. But it is a really, really pretty pink with this sort of blue toned um, sparkle, uh, shimmer, I should say. And I, I do love this ink very, very much. I don't know if it would be better in a different pen. I kind of doubt it, but I will definitely continue to give it a try because I do really enjoy this color. It's It's been really lovely to use. Um, and I can only foresee myself using it more and more in the springtime. Uh, so we'll see. Okay, next up is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the Dragon Palace. I adore this pen. It is so lovely and so much fun to write with. It just feels really good in the hand. And I have got this in the, what is it, medium fine? I want to say it's medium fine. Hold on one second. Yes, medium fine. There we go. No, medium, medium fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, it is medium fine. Uh, and I do have Ferris Wheel Press's uh, Spruce County Post in this, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous deep green and just works really, really well with this pen. You can see it's really, really beautiful. There's some really lovely shading in that, that even with just a medium fine, you can definitely see. Okay, next up is my uh, Platinum 3776 in the Sakura color. I love this pen. It's so beautiful. Please focus. There we go. You can see all of the little cells in there, and it almost looks kind of like an odd pink snake skin and extra sparkle that goes on in it. I just, I adore writing with this pen. Um, and the ink that I have in here, I think is really, really perfect. Uh, I do have this in the fine, I want to say. Yes, in the fine. Uh, and I do love the little um, heart shape that they have there. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, and I have it inked up with Color Versus Kingdom Series, uh, Kyu Jung Guk. And it's this gorgeous sort of muted pink red. It's just beautiful. So there's that one. And again, okay, next is my Pilot Decimo. Um, these clickers are just great pens. I use this at work all the time. Just when I need a quick note, I use it in meetings, things like that. Uh, I just think it's a really, really classy pen. Uh, I was, the last time I did this video uh, for February, having a major issue with finding a really good deep dark purple ink to put in this because I was very set on a deep dark purple. Um, I was using Robert Oster's Barossa Grape and it was just way too dry. This is an extra fine nib and a super dry Robert Oster is just not going to work. Oster inks, in my experience, do tend to be a bit on the dry side, but it was kind of, it, it was just not a fun ink to use in here. It was constantly hard starting, no luck whatsoever. Um, I ordered quite a few different inks that everyone had recommended. I'm really happy that I have them. But while I was waiting for those inks to come in, I was just going through my own collection and I was like, oh, I have another Robert Oster in blue black, which by the by is not blue black at all. It's definitely a very dark purple. Um, I was like, why not just pop a little bit in here and then I'll just use that until these other inks come in. But 
Turns out the Robert Oster Blue Black is, for whatever reason, a way better fit for this pen. I have had no hard starts with it. I really, really like the color because it's pretty much the same sort of deep, deep dark shade that the Barossa Grape is. Uh, and and I just, I'm really, really enjoying it. So that's what I've got in here. And there we have it for that one. Uh, again, I was not expecting to have any success whatsoever with a Rob another Robert Oster ink, but it worked for whatever reason. So, you know, even within a brand, even within a brand where we feel like we have seen a tendency towards one characteristic or other, doesn't mean it's 100% true for all of them. So if there's a color you like, try it out. You never know if it's going to work. I'm really, really happy that I have this. I'm super excited to try some of the others that I've gotten in, and I will definitely be shouting out all the names of the people uh, as those come in who gave those recommendations. And I, again, said I love purple inks, so I'm very, very excited to add those to the collection. Okay, last one for this month. This is the Jin Hao uh, X159. I This pen is pretty new to me. I am still having somewhat mixed feelings about it. It's a very large pen for me. I am, if you can notice from all of the other pens that I have uh, used today, not the biggest fan of large pens. Uh, I just feel like they don't fit in my hands. I have small to medium sized hands and uh, I do find that this one is much more comfortable than some other really large pens are that I've used, but I don't reach for this as much as I probably should. But it is a very, very nice pen, uh, considering I paid like $4 for it. I mean, it's an exceptionally nice pen for $4. Uh, and I do have this inked up with Monteverdi's Moonstone, which is a beautiful, beautiful brown. And I do have this in the fine nib, which I find is a very, very broad fine nib. Uh, I do think that Jin Hao nibs for me seem to be a little bit on the larger size uh, as far as um, broad characteristics go. But I do enjoy it. I am still getting used to the way that it feels in the hand, but I think it's an excellent, excellent pen. So if you are someone who likes larger pens and want something that's uh, a really good writer, because man, this nib is great. I mean, I've had no hard starts. It is really reliable. Um, definitely think about that one. Anyway, so this is this month's Currently Inked. We'll do some close-up shots just so you can kind of see. I do absolutely love the Vinta Fortaleza. I do think it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous sort of gold brown. So if that's a color that you're in the market for, highly recommended. So much shading. I hope it's picking up, but there's a crazy amount of shading in there. Um, Oyster Hour is always a favorite. Um, I did not have a great example of Warringal Alice, but it's a great light blue. If you're looking for a blue with shimmer, it really is. I just, I, it just, I'm fail boat today with this particular one. Apologies. Okay, so there you have it. If this video has been in any way entertaining or interesting or useful to you, please do consider hitting that like button, maybe even hitting the subscribe. Uh, as always, thank you so, so much for joining me. And if you have stuck it out all this way, massive, massive thanks. Uh, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye-bye.